Welcome back to the Value Investors Club. Welcome back to VIC Readings. I'm your host, Timon Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with the Tall Brothers Inc. TOL filed on September 16 by Nati 1015. The price when the recommendation happened was of $43.66. This is not advice only for entertainment. Please do your own research before you invest into it. Anything investment overview. I believe Tall Brothers, New York Stock Exchange TOL, represents a compelling risk reward at the current price valuation as of 16th, nine, uh, 16th uh, September 2022. TOL is the leader in the U.S. luxury home building market, operating in 24 states and 60 plus markets and fifth largest U.S. home builder by revenue. TOL is trading at 0.9x tangible book value per share, TBV per share, of $48.74. This TBV is largely comprised of 82,100 lots, 39,900 owned, and 42,200 optioned, equating to about 8 years of unit sales that were mostly acquired at pre-COVID pricing. At most of those lots were purchased post-approval to build, additionally, 80% of its homes are pre-sold, built to order with an average deposit of $80,000 on an average delivered price of $875,000. I think this provides a nice margin of safety to an investment at current prices. Executives and directors own 70 per, uh, 7% of the shares, which helps align their interests with their share, with other shareholders. With uh, several home builders trading at seemingly low valuation, the debate as to whether a potential investment in TOL is attractive likely has to do with one's view of the macroeconomic outlook, especially as it relates to housing. To me, it largely comes down to affordability. There's huge pent there's huge pent up demand and lack of supply. Fiscal and monetary policy has helped result in high asset inflation, and now with rising interest rates and cost of living inflation. This hurts affordability and even more than pre COVID. There are various industry company specific positives and negatives as I see it. Positives. Pent up demand from 2010 and 2020, new home construction fell 6.8 million units short of what was needed to meet household formation growth and replace obsolete units. From 2008 to 2021, average annual housing starts were 1.3 mil 1.03 million compared to 1.54 million from 1917 to 1999 and 1.74 million from 2000 to 2007. Home ownership rate rising, but still below historical norms. 77 million millennials entering their home buying years. According to TOL, the average age of homes in the US has increased from 25 years in 1989 to currently 40 years, which makes a newly built home relatively more attractive, especially as the cost to maintain an older home has risen with higher labor and construction materials costs. Greater adoption of work from anywhere allows more home buyers to choose where they want to live, which I believe plays into TOL's strength of high-end, high-quality homes in top suburbs that are more affordable than high-cost urban markets. I believe a growing number of institutional and financial buyers of homes provide a greater support to the housing market. Negatives. Affordability challenges from the rapid rise in interest rates albeit low on a historical basis and home prices constrain supply of new homes. TOL operates in many of the most difficult land approval markets in the US. Valuation slash expected return. TOL has, the, has been improving its operational performance over the past decade and therefore one could argue it deserves to trade at a higher multiple than it has historical, historically. It has become more capitalized by using more optioned lots versus owned, which has helped increase its inventory turns from 0.5x in 2015, when just 90% of its controlled lots were optioned to 0.8x in the LTM, with 51% of lots optioned. 
During this period, during this time, total debt equity has gone from 89.6% to 62%. Over the past 10 years, its average price TBV multiple has 1.4x and its ROE has averaged 12.2x, 12.2%, uh, 19.2% in the LTM. I estimate a TBV per share at the end of 2023 will be $55, applying 1.4x to that plus. $1 in dividends collected over the next five quarters equates to $78 or a potential return of 70%. Realizing we are likely to peak housing prices given affordability issues if the US was to see a housing correction akin to what we experienced during the GFC where TOL's TBV per share declined by 35% from 2007 to 2010, applying 1.4x to a similar, similar decline to D TBV per share would be about where the stock is currently trading. It's worth noting that from its peak TBV per share during the GFC, it has grown TBV per share at a 5.2% CAGR over the past 15 years. Risks. Housing bubble akin to what we saw during the GFC results in further pressure on home builder stocks. Note, unless otherwise noted, all statistics related to TOL are from its Q3 2022 earnings call presentation, 24th August of 2022. Catalysts. A time, but I would not be surprised to see a private equity bid given the seemingly cheap valuation and digestible market capitalization of $5 billion.